Welcome to Clinical Research and Clinical Data Management demo session. So we'll be looking into the basics of clinical research and data management role in this video. So I hope uh, the one whoever is watching this video should be definitely from life science background. So we will first see the drug development stages. So any life science graduate, for example, if you are from a background of microbiology or a background of biotechnology, BDS, or if you are a B Pharma, M Pharma, PharmD graduate or an organic chemistry or bioinformatics. So anyone from life science background, their main motto is to be part of a drug development stage. So any department or any graduation here, they want to work in this particular industry, which are involved in the development of the drug. So we have four stages in the drug development and drug development process. The first stage is drug discovery or research and development. Then we have preclinical studies, which are animal studies. Then we have clinical trials, which is human trials. And then we have post-marketing surveillance study where there are review, approval, and then looking out into the safety aspects of the drug that will be releasing into the market. So this four stages here describes the requirement of finding out a drug molecule, doing the experiments related to this particular drug molecule and releasing this drug molecule into the market. So clinical research terminologies are completely different. So we'll look into it. A drug is called as an investigational product in clinical research because it's not yet hit into the market. And there are different guidelines we follow under each stage okay for research and development we follow good manufacturing practice there will be sponsor companies or pharmaceutical companies who will manufacture or find out a molecule a molecule which is a cure for a particular disease so when they found out such molecule obviously they need to go into a preclinical studies which are animal studies and once they complete this animal studies and get some data the they have to go to clinical trials clinical trials are your human subjects clinical trials are conducted on human patients so patients are called as subjects in clinical research terminology and review and approval so this entire process of discovering a drug, conducting a preclinical studies, conducting human trials, and in human trials, we have three different phases. And once these three different phases have completed, once it hits into the post-marketing surveillance study, and even after completion of post-marketing surveillance, then it will go into the regulatory body approval. So only after such approval, a molecule can be used for a disease until that it will be in part of or it will be a part of experiment itself so to complete this particular drug molecule that a research and development or a drug discovery team find out and to release this molecule into the market it um, almost takes 10 to 15 years and in this particular four stages of drug discovery clinical trials plays a major role. There are different sponsor, contract research organizations, investigators and study site or your study hospitals and subjects. Many people are involved in the clinical trial and the data is very important because the data of human subjects, if a trial is conducted for three years, we are going to record what is happening with the subject meaning with our patient in this particular clinical trial and we should make this data is available for the further clinical trials and further studies. So when there are huge subjects or huge patients involved, there will be somewhere around 100 to 3000 participants as well in a clinical trial. So you will be having data related to 100 to 3000. All this data has to be maintained by your data management team. So what is a clinical research? It's a systematic investigation in human subjects. And why clinical research? Obviously, there will be many diseases coming. You would require clinical research. You would need clinical trials to prove that a molecule is safe and it is efficient to use. And when are we conducting clinical trials? Whenever you need a new drug like Covishield Covaxin was invented when we require COVID-19 vaccination. Okay, when we would have in a need of a vaccination, then we found out that molecules and then this particular molecule can be used as a vaccination, all those trials. So to launch a new drug, medical devices or any other important aspects of the existing drugs, we need to control a clinical trial. 
where do we conduct a clinical trial? We conduct a clinical trial at hospitals. So now let us see what is the data in general and what is the clinical data. In general, data meaning like you capturing anything which is important for you in a book or in a notebook or in your computer systems, that is the data. So in clinical research, I am capturing or I am collecting the data of my human subjects, whether it is a diagnostic details or whether it's the demographic details like height, weight and BMIs or whether it is laboratory analysis or whether it is how progressive the particular drug is into that particular subject. So anything okay, related to my human subject is the clinical data. So imagine if there is a trial conductor for three years, so there is going to be huge data which will be captured in a system and also there is something called a paper CRF, which we call it as a case report forms. So each visit will have this sort of forms and it has to be documented. There will be writing it and they will be doing data entry. So there is so much of different systems involved in collection, maintaining of this particular data. So this collection and maintaining of data should not have breaches. So it is a very critical process in clinical research. The data is important because it leads to the high quality and reliable data. So if Covishield is safe, how are we concluding that Covishield is safe? Because we have clinical data which shows that this particular vaccination is safe to be taken. So only if you have such data, the drug or the molecule can be used further. So clinical data management plays a very important role in clinical research industry and uh, it gives a fast track development, you know, because when whenever you have a data, you can see the pros and cons of this particular drug and make sure to release this drug into the market. So there are different companies available, uh, you know, which have a data management team, a clinical research team. All these are our sponsor companies, which are part of drug discovery. So L.I. Lilly, BMS, which is Bristol, Myers, GlaxoSmith, Amgen, Novartis, Synodome, all these companies, Sanofi, it's a big company, AstraZeneca which holds a very big vaccine for, uh, you know, COVID-19, myelin. All these are your drug discovery companies. Okay, so you have good opportunities to get placed in the clinical research and clinical data management domain. And all these are your contract research organizations. So in contract research organizations, you will find multiple job openings for data management as a data coordinator, senior data coordinator, you'll have roles related to data managers as well. So there are very big companies who are having and it is one of the main department in this particular CRO organizations. And why you need to choose BCRI? Okay, how different is BCRI compared to other training institutes? We are focusing on students to be interview ready. We are not asking you, you know, we are not brushing you, we are not rushing on anything, we are not, we don't want to complete a certification within 20 days. We are focusing on the students and we are trying to make students interview ready. There is a lot of difference between you understanding the concept and you talking about that concept. If you need to relate to the question asked in the interview. So we will make students to connect the dots and how they can answer, how profoundly they can answer in their interviews. Our main motto and focus is on making students to be interview ready. So once you are part of this BCRA, there are class recordings. And uh, so whatever the class is happening on day to day basis, all these recordings will be made available in Google Classroom. And uh, the materials will be uploaded in the Google Classroom. And students can have access even completion of this course. And you will get hands on experience on the clinical data management activities. So whatever day to day activities that will be performed in uh, a CROs or in a sponsor organizations, we are trying to provide a hands on experience during the clinical trials. Usage of during the classes, whenever we are teaching you about a topic, we'll make sure you to prepare it, you know, a document on yourself. We'll show how to make it and we'll request you to complete such documents. It will give you a hands on experience. And the main part is BCRI has acquired a Clinova electronic data capture system. 
So this system is a live environment for the data and management. Every company in data management will have an ADC system. So BCRI will provide you a training related to this particular ADC systems. And it is also a part of a practical knowledge gaining and a hands-on experience on what a data management actually does. So we discussed there is so much of data. So how this data is handled? This data is handled by using your ADC systems. And we are giving you training on ADC system, how it has to be used, how data is recorded, what a data management team will look into it. And our trainers are well experienced and they all are from an industrial background. Most of our trainers are, are from sponsor companies and also from CRO companies where they have already worked. So you will get a live environment to learn and to gain knowledge in the BCRI Institute. So you will be, and this course is a part of not only teaching you what is important, we'll also give you the hands-on experience in the clinical research domain and also in the data management. 